Welcome back to the Words of Heart Podcast, guys. Uh, today, we're going to talk about... What are we talking about, Mike? Uh, today, I wanted to talk about being a piece of shit. Being a piece of shit. I wanted to talk I'm about... I'm an expert on this subject. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time you said that about not me. Um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about... I was going to talk about you. Those days, those, <laughs> those Saturdays or Sundays, there's no commitments. There's no work. You've got nothing going on. You want to be a piece of shit. Lay it out on the table. Let's start with Greg. What's your ultimate comfort? What's your ultimate comfort day? What do you got? Don't have to get dressed. Don't have to go to work. And just literally sit with Netflix running in the background playing video games. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's a comfort day. Where do you sit? What do you use? My lazy boy. You got a lazy boy? I got a lazy boy. Perfect. Beautiful. Only leave to use the bathroom and get food. Oh, uh, all right. Sometimes well, not even for that. Yeah, there you go. There you I go. Acknowledgement, because I'll get someone to bring me the food. Ah, still gonna boy. Use the bathroom. Yeah, that's why you got married. <laughs> Don't let my wife see this episode. Yeah, no, Samantha doesn't watch the show, so I'm all good. What about you, Alex? I, <laughs> I've had several. Give me your ultimate lazy day. It, it this hasn't happened in a while, and I mean it's kind of changed a bit, but like. When, we'll say when I was in high school, like, it'd be, like, a Saturday would consist of me going out, buying a shit ton of food. You've, already, talking, you've like, already lost me. Really? On the going out part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that doesn't sound okay, very well, okay, so The you, moment you said, I was, like, ultimate lazy day, you're, like, going out. Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, nope. e- okay, either I had the if stuff ready beforehand. If you have to leave the house, it's not a lazy day. Preferably, I'd have the stuff ready beforehand, but it would be basically uh, getting, you know, a couple boxes of wings, fucking, you know, just, oh. like, just finger food, right? Like yeah. just, like just just eating all day, but it's not it's not complete without a cake, like a full cake. Just <laughs> eating that to yourself. <laughs> a cake. Oh yeah, just like flat out, just like I, I can't say that I've ever bought and eaten an entire cake myself. Um, Maybe feel like a piece of shit. But but <laughs> I have I I don't like cake. I have eaten I have purchased and eaten an entire pie, <laughs> but I fucking love pie so. So I can see you just sitting there like shoving pie in your face. I've never like, no. I've never done that because then no, no, I can see it because that doesn't get in your mouth. See, we had we had a sober driver, a sober driver one night, and silver driver, a silver driver. Uh, so me and me and the buddy silver like, driver sounds like a corny superhero. Oh my god, you terrible. would take it there with me. <laughs> we uh, we decided we want fucking ice cream cake and we want like right fucking now. Mm-hmm. So we took a fucking drive. To a Dairy Queen. Drive. Took a fucking drive to Dairy Queen because they fucking wanted ice cream right fucking then. Didn't and we're here, and we're looking at the we're looking at the case, and there's like all these cakes, and there's like there's the sale stickers, right? It's like two dollars less than what the regular price would have been last week, and there's this one sad fucking cake with seven stickers on it. Yeah, I love it when you walk in somewhere and you see stale stickers stacked that high and you're like, I'm buying that. I don't care what it is. <laughs> That's the- I don't care how small that t-shirt is. It's 50 cents. <laughs> I'm going home with this shit. That's like, we'll find we- a use for it. Because I was fucking drunk, I'm staring at this thing. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, what are you laughing at? He sees all the stickers. And he starts laughing incoherently too. Just the best fucking... So we bought this fucking $10 cake. Things like that fucking big as far as an ice cream cake is concerned. That's That's... Like the fucking delight, and we ate half that thing that night. It was like lightweight. Oh, man, yeah, really that's a fucking. That's a lot of fucking chocolate nougat. You can't even eat the whole cake. Oh, I could eat so much ice cream. That's dude. So good. And that's the thing. I mean, I would eat. Then my the stomach hell. is just wrecked. I. Oh yeah, you're lactose intolerant, aren't you? See, I thought I was lactose <laughs> intolerant. Turns out it was just my my appendix trying to kill me three or four times. I thought it was lactose intolerant. Turns out that eating an entire tub of ice cream hurts no matter what. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're lactose intolerant or not. Just a bad it's, idea. Yeah, or no, I, I had a tablespoon of ice cream once and nearly. Anyway, note to self: secretly give Mike ice cream and watch. So I mean, yeah, being being my my whole comfort thing though, like if I'm actually having like a shit time, like like I am like so depressed. Uh, that I don't want to do anything. I'll try to force myself to drive to my hometown, and there's you know, that would make me feel worse. <laughs> specifically driving to my hometown. Yeah, uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, You're from Minto. It's a terrible inside joke. Minto. It's like the so butt crack in my, my grandfather. My grandfather owned this. I didn't hear what you just said, but my face says it all. <laughs> I didn't know we were talking about Zealand. Go on. No. <laughs> I offended all three. I hope uh, that all yeah. those three people that live in Zealand don't watch our show. 
Yeah, well, whatever. Wow. It doesn't matter. They just alienated them. So my yeah, grandfather. They're all related anyway. My grandfather owned this uh, owned this this gravel pit out in Minto. It used to be an old an old strip mine, and it's now filled up with with water. So you can, you know, people go swimming, and there's some weird wildlife there. Dispose of dead bodies. Oh, we're not going to talk about that. That's another that's another day. Comfort. So comfort. Well, I mean, so like yeah, I'll just go with what we're talking about. I'll, I mean, I've, I've got on a, another note, a comfort would be. Absolutely oh, horrifying. Disgusting. Horrifying. You want to talk about not being comfortable? You want to talk Wait, about making it? people uncomfortable? You just did it. <laughs> we can talk about that if you really want to. I, I can say so. One million better. subs. We'll talk about it. Okay. So, uh, so like I've gone out there. I've pitched a tent and just yeah. <laughs> Comfort. <laughs> 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 Yeah. If you ever had, have you ever had sex while camping? No. It's fucking intense. <sighs> Damn it. Why? Damn it. That, that Why joke comes from, you from, face, from from Facebook circa fucking 1988. Facebook. That's sad. Facebook 1988. No, I just meant the joke came from 1988 and then Facebook recycled it. So, yeah, no, so I'll go out there and, you know, just camp and, you know, swim and just Pitch do, tar- tents. do target practice. Like, like my cousin my cousin would go out there with his father's 50 cal. Yes, his father went through a whole shit ton of bullshit to get a 50 cal, uh, a Barrett 50 cal rifle in Canada. And, for target uh, practice. For target, well, that's all, that's all you're going to use it for. I mean, point. I hope he went through a lot of things, because... You're putting this out there to the public that he owns one, so... It's there. Uh, so he took it out in the gravel pit once uh, with a... Those tanks that you fill with propane. Propane tank. That's one of those <laughs> tanks you fill with propane. What are yeah, what's called? that called? <laughs> what the fuck is that again? A, I think it's a water tank. So, like, in, in this in this cut, there's two islands. He goes and he puts it up on the tallest one, and uh, he shot it in shrapnel went every fucking where. Man, it's... What I'm saying is don't shoot propane tanks with fucking 50 cal. Well, yeah, because well, that far needs as, to be... As far as Mythbusters is concerned, it just penetrates it. It didn't. That's not how it works. <laughs> they must not have been full. This is hearsay. <laughs> this is hearsay. So, I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I don't know. My ultimate comfort is I, I prepare the day before. I do. When, I, when I'm like, oh, wait... There's nothing going on tomorrow. I don't have anything. I remember uh, back at our apartment, I would I'd take my whole computer set up. I'd bring it out to the living room. All the blankets and pillows were coming out there with me. Like you said, all the finger food, wings and stuff. St- shit you can throw in the oven and you don't have to pay attention to it. And you just come back later and you're like, there it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, just oh, sitting there. Just, just kicking back being a lazy piece of shit. What do and you then, use the computer for? Uh, video games. I don't play video games on anything but <clears> computer. So, well, that's the thing. I mean, or like, Netflix or whatever. I, I, we would bring out the PS2 and you know just just play. Like, me and Buddy would would do that basically every Saturday. We would find a new game, we would play through and beat it. Where you pitch intense together. <laughs> <laughs> me and Buddy get together, we pitch intense to tents. play the PS2. Play PS2. He brought his fifty caliber and I was like, can't handle that. And we blew up a gas tank. Mm, it is blowed. Both tanks. It's filled with propane, but I don't remember the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you want to go? You want to go? You want to go have a lazy day? You want? <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> pretty bad. You want to? Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, no, it's like, we'd just be lazy pieces of shit eating like all this food. We spent we one we one day spent one hundred and fifty dollars in like taters, like fried chicken. Yeah. Did, fucking, did you eat one hundred and fifty dollars worth of food in we the ate, same day? We ate a shit. Wow. Oh yeah. See, see, nowadays my lazy day consists like I I feel like a piece of shit if I don't at least get up and accomplish something. So at some point during my lazy days, nowadays it involves, oh, just making sure that like the dishes are done or something. You know what I mean? Just something simple that makes me feel like, yeah, I, I wasn't... I did something. Yeah, I wasn't totally unproductive today. But I mean, like, again, just pajama pants, finger food, just hanging out at home, you know, play some video games. These days, I would love to have a nice bottle of whiskey or something, something like that, right? Of course, Just yeah. relax. And just veg right <clears throat> out. Now, what about your ultimate discomfort days? 
I don't I don't want to hear about work either. I don't want to hear oh my ultimate discomfort day is getting up and going to work. What's the, what are what are the days that you are least comfortable? Having forever? to <laughs> having to go home to uh, to my hometown. <laughs> most you of literally have to just, go to Alex's you, hometown. Yeah, you literally <laughs> just said your most comfortable day is going to your hometown my, and pitching tents. My, so your least most comfortable day is going to your hometown, hometown. And not being able to get that. Not being able to pitch the tent. <laughs> like, like, like my my my, my, my comfort place, place. Like like, like my, 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 my I won't say a safe place, that's not what it is. It's just a bad place. I had places like this old strip mine that, you know, I had a lot of, you know, really good memories there. So, that's that one place itself, but going back to my hometown, anytime I do, there's some other random fucking rumor that's coming out about me. If I spend any more than 48 hours there, Uh, this is you, Alex. It's probably not a rumor. There's... You just get mad that the people find out about your stupid shit and start talking about it when you go home. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm talking, talking about, like, like, like there was a side note, note have a lazy day and listen to Rumors, the yeah. album. Just Rumors Day. Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Right, yeah, yeah so, so, like, anytime I'll go to Minto, uh, I'll stay there for more than 40 hours, and there'll be another random rumor about me. There was one uh, where apparently I was sleeping with, uh, with a girl and her best friend, uh, which is... Really just Alex only pitches tents with his buddies in the yeah, court. Not, not with girls and their best friends. Yeah, get it straight. Anybody from Minto watching, just remember, Alex pitches tents in the court. With, with, with the guys. Like, two or three weeks later when Friend. I went back, uh, I went to this, this little get-together at this house. I'm just having a few drinks and whatnot. And this guy asked me where uh, where the guitar strings were. And I looked at the guy who you know, actually owned the place and, like, He's asking me where the guitar strings are, and I'm like, I don't know. It, but apparently, what they heard was, "Have you checked your girlfriend's cooch?" And I'm I, like, common mistake. I don't see it. I I don't understand. So, a few mm-hmm. things though. A, what kind of what kind of thing is that to say? Like, have you checked your girlfriend's cooch? Like, it, that's not a thing. I don't know. Maybe she's been having issues, and you need to remind her every once in a while. Maybe her coach needs to be really strong. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know. just never know okay. these things. So a, it doesn't make sense. B, I'm not that disrespectful. Like that's kind of, like, that's weird. And C, what? 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 What would even? What? What does it even mean? What's C? What? What's C, Alex? Yeah. What's, C, what's no? A? No. C is the same as A. C is cooch. C, C is, is for Coochie. Coochie. It's good okay. enough for Alex. <laughs> and, and C, what? C should be... That would be C. C is for Coochie. I don't think I've... Have you checked there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've Cookie ever monster. used the word... I don't think I've ever Coochie used the word monster. Coochie. Coochie, Alex, Coochie Monster. Coochie, Coochie Monster. monster. Oh, Not again. Oh, boy. I have never used the word Cooch. You just did. I mean, like I, obviously, times. in this context, <laughs> because it's it, it was... Apparently, it was something that I said. I, I've never used the word Cooch. Like, that's... It's just fucking weird. It's like I, I wouldn't use the word. Cooter. I don't know. I'd, I'd say like, cooter. <laughs> I'd never said cooter either. The weirdest, <laughs> that's worse. The weirdest name I've ever heard a vagina call was a monkey. <sighs> Salty beef curtains. Let's not. My mom watches. Anyway, <laughs> so you so you told Alex, mom. so you told her to go check for guitar strings in her cooch, right? No, no. Okay, so you didn't. That's what they heard. That's Th- that's 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 what they heard me say to this this girl's boy. It was the least. Most I don't know. I'm still either. leaning towards. I think you actually told him to check the girl's cooch for the guitar strings. That was the least most comfortable day you've ever had. That was that was the that was possible. It was just like the next morning. I'm getting bitched at by this girl's best friend because yeah. apparently I said this and I was being right like, disrespectful. I'm like, listen here, you dumb cunt. Like fucking ask the. Ask a third party. Ask the the host of the party. Alex, you know the truth. while you're editing this episode, I want you to rewind back to the part where you said, "I'm not a disrespectful person." And then you proceed and to then call f- someone a dumb. Fast cunt. forward back to the part where you said, you dumb "This is dumb cunt." <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing disrespectful about that. That's right. That's right. That's I already know Greg's ultimate discomfort <clears throat> day. What is it? Uh, when you have to get up and you throw your back out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely discomforting. Yeah. It only happens like once a month. Yeah. <laughs> What's your ultimate discomfort day? Discomfort day. Worst case scenario. You said I can't say when I have to get up and go to work. <sighs> is, so, it, is, so, is that all you got? Well, because honestly, if I'm not having to get... No, when I have to go back to Alex's hometown... <laughs> 
That's, Joe. That makes me discomforting as well. My ultimate discomfort day is uh, is when I have to go to an event where I have to dress up. Um, I don't mind just putting on regular clothes and being a regular person, but like if I have to go to like a wedding or something and wear like a stiffy shirt and sit through like whatever other people are doing, I don't mind towards the end, but that kind of ruins it for me, that one hour of having to do something. You know what I mean? You know you're right, because one of the most <clears throat> discomforting days that I had last year was your wedding. Oh yeah, that wedding where I made you wear fucking jeans yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just get drunk. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, terrible. most most weddings are are insufferable and they're not <coughs> fun. Well, I um, mean, like they're fun for the people who are involved in the wedding, and I get it, and the people who are related to them. But when I'm brought to a wedding for someone, you a friend of know. a friend, yeah. or like a Your distant nephew in law, yeah, yeah. So, something like that, and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna show up, and I gotta sit in the back, and I gotta look nice, and it's like I hate having like a collared shirt button button right up, and like I gotta sit there, and you know, and then old people will come in, and so you've like, never just randomly crashed a wedding. No, no, I haven't. We should try that. Let's I, go wedding crash. Let's, let's do it this summer. Mm -hmm. One million subs will crash we'll a wedding. wedding crashing. <laughs> we'll crash a wedding and we'll read our porn scrubs. Oh, man, we're going to be so thing. screwed when we hit one million scrub, scrubs. Scrubs. <laughs> one million subs. Scrub, fucking scrubs. Because <laughs> <laughs> we've committed to wait, so much already, wait, we're going to be so busy. Is that what we're going to call them from now on? We're going to call them one, the scrubs? The one million yeah. No. Scrub scribe? Scrub scrub. Scrub Anyway. This is terrible. Oh, um... All right, so moving beyond comfort and discomfort currently, give me your fictional comfort item. So, like, if if you want, if you want NASA to have like a laser beam periodically come down and scratch your ass for you, <laughs> that's your ultimate comfort item. What do you got? I'm Batman. You just like, oh, I'm so comfortable. This I would just wake up and be Batman and go beat up bad guys, and that would be so comfortable. Well, no, th there might be a little bit of so truth weird. to that. I, I'm just, I'm just, I, I mean, like, I mean, like, let's say those ultimate lazy piece of shit days. Yeah, I'd be a lazy piece of shit beating the shit out of another well, man. No, I, I get this. I get this because, like, I, when I was in Taekwondo the years and years ago, uh, you know, back when you beat up grandma. Well, yeah, punching. back when you beat up your grandmother. You have no idea how, how good it was. How hard it was to beat up your grandmother? Did she fight back? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> how you good have it no feels to just what? You have no idea how good it feels to just punch a dumb motherfucker. See, but that Don't talk about your grandmother <laughs> like that! She's a saint! <laughs> that wouldn't make me feel comfortable, though. You know what I mean? It like, would like, be. like, if I punch somebody, Is like, in, the, the in, stress in a relief, fight. The stress relief, though. Yeah. I, I guess. But, like, yeah. when I'm talking comfort, I picture soft and, like,. Like, yeah, if I if I was, like, even if it was somebody who's, like, if I was standing there punching Hitler, I'd be, like, I'd rather be laying on my couch right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Not me. I'd be, like, oh, this is so relaxing. All right. I <laughs> don't do, don't do, don't exaggerate. No, I was, I was so re relaxing. That's going to be made into a gift now. You realize that, right? Yeah. All three of us do that. I wasn't talking part. about your ultimate comfort. Yeah, my, Someone make that into a gift, please. I don't know. My ultimate fictional comfort would be um, just something that could uh, create food right then and there for you. You know what no, I mean? Oh, great! Like Hot. I was literally just gonna say, like the like the the things on the Enterprise. Yeah, and I mean, like it sounds bad, and like I'm, you know, I'm overweight, and that shouldn't be. Um, I th I would think I would like to think that my ultimate comfort item would be. He's just, I'm he's making just burgers. He's just going to do this for the. In. He's going to do this for the rest of the episode. Mm -hmm. He's going to um, eat fictional. Would be, let's say, a toaster oven that creates any food that I want, but the food doesn't add calories or make you feel like shit. You know what I mean? So you could just eat nonstop your favorite foods ever. I don't want the disperses like just. No, I alcohol. literally just want. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay, I want, How you I want something. Of that on I want something that premixes. Like, okay, so Subway now has like these machines where you can get like all these flavor shots of pop and shit. Oh what I want is God. you stick, really? you stick the, you stick your cup there. Yeah, so, so say so, booze, pop, and it mixes it for so, you. So like, so at Subway right now, like, hashtag not a sponsor. Subway, you could be our sponsor. You're great, no, but you like, can keep sponsoring pedophiles all you fucking want. <laughs> anyway, fuck Jerry. Um, yeah, well, actually, we, we, if we got Alex and we're asking for a sponsor. I'm not... 
Well, make pedophile jokes. All, all right, right, all right. right. Take it back. <laughs> um, no, so they have this machine there now. Uh, and I don't know if it's in other fast food restaurants, but, like, you hit Coke, and then it's like, do you want to add lemon, lime, vanilla? Really? And all this, yeah. I, I went in there once, and I was dicking around, and I was like, Mountain Dew. And they were like, do you want to add flavor? I'm like, yeah, vanilla. And then it was like, it was disgusting. <laughs> it was awful. But I'm wondering if, like... It cherry dispenses. Mountain Dew would be I would, good. It has cherry, too. Yeah. I wonder if it dispenses water, and you'd just be like... Just Put a flavor shot in yeah, the water? Yeah, put lemon in it. Get my lemon water in some way. Wouldn't that just be lemonade? Or Powerade or Fanta? I want Fanta with vanilla. Orange <laughs> Fanta with vanilla. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the thing but you can do for much anything. Let's let's say your thing doesn't premix it with pop, but that it's just it's literally like a machine that magically creates any liquor ever. It's just a catalog. Moonshine, bitch. Alex would be dead if something like that existed. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. You I would, would have the best parties ever. Okay. No, he'd have one really good party, and then he'd be dead. Rub, rub <laughs> a, you rub a lamp. The comfort genie comes out. You have one wish. What would you like me to create for you? Um, what um, item? The unlimited booze <laughs> creator. The unlimited booze dispensary. Yeah. See, so, so one night you're just like, you know what? I feel like a nice glass of scotch, and then the other, the next night you're like, everyone's getting wasted. 40 tequila shots, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or just... No, see, that's where you're I'm wrong. having supper, let's have a nice beer. The first night would be 40 tequila shots, all for me, and then we'd never hear from Alex again. Yep. And then, I, <laughs> and then in his <laughs> will, awesome. I would hope it would say, I leave my booze machine to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that works. I mean, I'd love it. Yeah. And Greg would just be f- fucking Batman, because, yeah. like... So the genie comes out and, and, and the genie comes out and says, "I'll create one comfort item for you. I will build an item. I want a bat suit that makes that. me Batman." <laughs> Sweet. That's. But that, by that I mean it has to give me the, the peak physical condition, his detective skills, his wealth, his wealth, everything. Oh. His problems. See his problems. His sadness. The genie will kill your parents. Have <laughs> <laughs> you seen that cartoon um, where it, it, it is a genie? Yeah, set. yeah. yeah. What do you want? Just, I want to be like Batman. A, so would he this kills be like a parents. monkey's paw genie, though? So it's like, all right, you can be Batman, but you have to kill your parents. It's like, is no, this no, 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 no. He just he he gives you an item that makes something happen, and I would. Ooh. So together, you and I, Alex, we could open the greatest gastro pub. You could literally. I could defend your pub for you. Yeah, and Greg could I'll be, be your Greg bouncer. Greg be your bouncer. <laughs> Greg will be the bouncer at the Alex and the Mike Gastro bouncer. Pub, where you're creating just drinks, and I'm creating food that doesn't make you feel full, so they just keep buying and eating. Yeah, you'd need someone like Batman around to keep those idiots straight. Jesus, yeah, because they'd be so wasted on yeah. Alex's machine. Exactly. My food wouldn't absorb any alcohol. This is amazing. You can sell them for for super cheap too, though. That's a thing. Right? I know you can you can literally kill every bar in town with fifty cent shot night. <laughs> Actually, found out recently. Uh, fifty cent triples. Uh, and Let's in uh, in in our province, uh, you uh, the, the the price on how low liquor prices can be at bars and pubs and stuff. You, you couldn't do that. <laughs> what's what's the lowest? You know, for for a. For like a mixed drink, like with a single shot, the lowest you can sell it for is a dollar fifty. It's like it, that's roughly what singles it's too. Doable. It's like so. I mean, it's that bad. Yeah. Uh, for but we'll also do buy one get one free. Oh God. Oh. Bogo. <laughs> Bogo. It's it's really it's something else. I mean, we would be fucked. Buy here. a single, we'll make it a double for free. Why? Because reasons. Because because reasons. Lessons learned. I uh, want to be Batman. Fuck. Finger points. <laughs> Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Uh, I really want to find a fucking genie. <laughs> Lessons learned. We can't let Alex find a genie. <laughs> I think our ultimate lessons learned here is Alex is most comfortable when he's pitching a pen. And stay tuned for our gastro pub. One million subscribers and a genie later. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching that episode of the Words Are Hard podcast. We're extremely uncomfortable right now. Doesn't mean you don't have to be. Make sure you like and comment on the video, share it with your friends so they can get real nice and fucking comfortable with us. If you really like the video, you can click on Greg's face here to subscribe. And if you really like the video, click on Alex's face for a playlist of the rest of our shit. Thanks for watching.